Good afternoon. Now, people are always asking how to set tappets. And uh, so, there's a very simple way, right? So I, I thought, I've got the engine, and I'll show you. Anyway, yesterday, the, the 10th hour, right? So I've made a dedicated field gauge out of a, a um, what's the name? Hacksaw blade, right? I ground it on the thing. It's got to be near enough for this job. Right, I've got field gauges, but I just thought it was something else I could do. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I just run it to not to warm the engine up to do it hot. I've done it to warm the shed up because <laughs> it's not very hot today. Anyway, I'll just see if I can mount the camera up to show you how, um, how to do it very simply. So we'll just stop the engine. The only reason I've run it is just to give a little bit of heat in the shed. Right, I've loosened the bolts. So the first thing you have to do is take the rock cover off. <sighs> like that. And there's the tappets, right? There's the rockers and the tappets are on the end, I'll show you in detail in a bit. So all you do, oh, on a petrol engine it's advisable to take the spark plugs out because this way it, it involves a lot of winding, right? And on a diesel you want to uh, pull the stop lever out. Right, so you will look at the inlet, wind the engine round in the direction of rotation to it's fully open there and watch where you where it is and it wants to be around one full turn which is there right that now is on the back of the camshaft because the camshaft you know how a full stroke engine works probably now that's where you set the tappets anyway so using my new feeler gauge I've made we will see and that one is a bit loose I was expecting this because they want to be um, the book says for this engine between five and ten thou right and I've got plenty of feeler gauges but now we don't know how tight they are but I've got some spanners ready so we can loosen it off there you go and I'm not sure if it will work or not and then what you do is holding the nut like that tighten this bit right and you tighten it down you can unscrew the nut if you want a little bit it's best to actually there they are it's, they, this is actually quite free I'm a bit surprised so there we are now bit tricky on this engine but till you can just till it just grips it there that's it and then it, as I say it doesn't matter if you tighten it a little bit more on this engine so holding it like that look up there I'm in the way now you can see see what I'm doing that's all that matters that's it that's all you have to do and look that tappet is set right it's a fraction type it doesn't matter because that as I say I've made a dedicated field gauge which is nine thou at the end and ten in the middle so that one's done and so what I'm going to do is just give it now that's that's how you set your tappets anyway so you and you do the same with the other one and I've shown you how to do it so it, that you can do that on the whole engine right don't matter if it's got 50 cylinders right but that is a hundred percent way on any engine well you've seen how to do it now just uh, so what I'm going to do now is 
you can then while you're going and doing it i'll carry on with this video and you can listen if you like and then you've got to get treated to another of my fantastic drawings you see i've sold middlefield haven't i and uh this is, as I say, this works on any conventional four-stroke pusher engine, you know, that you've got to do with tappets on like that. Um, because people, they say, oh, which, which ones do you do? You know, well, I'm going to show you in a, in a bit. But first of all, right, I've got plenty of feeler gauges, look. See? That's one old set with a 10th hour feeler gauge, 9, 8, you know, you can, I could have used that. But I made this one because it's uh, well, it's something to do, isn't it? So what I'll do, I'll just show you. We'll mic it up. I'll just uh, come around the back of the camera so I can show you properly. And uh, we'll... Um, yes, you can see it there. Right, because I want to show you the micrometer, you see. Right, so what I did, use it on the grinder and then on the belt sander, I just ground this until we've got a tenth hour feeler gauge, which I think you can see that well enough. See? A tenth hour. Right. So, and it's got to be bent at an angle because, as you see, they're inside. So I thought, you know, again, just for something to do, we've now got a dedicated field gauge for the, the Lister. Hmm. Right, everyone remembers a four-stroke engine, suck, squeeze, bang, blow. You know, <laughs> that's how you remember it. So the camshafts look like this. You've got one like that and one lobe like that. For number one cylinder, right? That's number one cylinder. So that's your first lobe, and that's your second lobe, right? Then your next cylinder is this way, and it can be sometimes the reverse, but the, this is the configuration of them, right? That's number two cylinder. So that is your third lobe and that's your fourth right the next one is like that but it's this way around like that so that's number three cylinder and that is the fifth lobe on the camshaft and that's the sixth right and your last one is like the front one but the other way up so it's like that and like that you see and that's number four cylinder and that's number um, seven on your camshaft and that's number eight right I'll just zoom in a little bit on that now there's two ways you can do this, as you can see from my fantastic drawing, right? Look at the lobes on that camshaft. These valves are open on number one, so number four are shut. So a lot of people, a lot of people, when that those two valves are open, what you call rocking right in the middle like that like that they are um, you set those two when these two are rocking you set number three when number three is rocking you set number two and when number four is rocking you set number one now that method works and it is I didn't like that for years until it saves turning the engine around a lot you see now, there's another way which works on some engines, but not all, and it's called the nine method. And what it is, as I said in the video, the best place to set the tappets is on the back of the camshaft. 
and as you can see from here if that's like that they're not quite on the back of the camshaft you see what I mean if, if one's rocking you know the, they're, they're here not there are you with me so there's another method called the nine method and that's why I've written these numbers down so when number one is fully open in other words it's spun around a bit right you set number eight because if you look on there number eight is opposite to number one which is why it's called the nine method so number two you set number seven three six right I've drawn them upside down sorry that's number six there and that's number five my mistake there you put it right now right because you see the inlet is first right obviously I've drawn it backwards I think it don't matter anyway and number four you see you do number five look see what I mean they're like that right so you get it now so you can do it that way but it doesn't work on all engines so the reason I've said if you take one take each individual one as an individual so if you as I showed you on the engine just now wind the engine over until one is fully open and then wind the engine one full turn I'll write it down one full turn right the camshaft runs at half engine speed so then that rocker that lobe on the camshaft will be the other way up so the valve the valve will be on the very back of the camshaft anyway i hope you've enjoyed that little demonstration i hope you've enjoyed it and it might be helpful to one or two bye bye